Hello fellow Helldivers and welcome back. There has been a lot of buzz around the Ark firm as of lately and how good it feels to fire and connect the shots from one enemy to another. Although I've been seeing many people use the weapon in missions, I've noticed not a lot of them know how to fully master the weapon to go ahead and net those multiple kills fast and efficiently. So today I'm going to break down the weapon, show you how to use it and some tips and tricks for you to fully take away with it. The Arc Thrower is an easy weapon to use. All you need to do is hold the trigger down until the half square box condenses and then release. But doing this will shoot off an arc chain effect that will zap the nearest enemy in front of us and will also chain to others as well. However, after you fire your first shot, the follow up shot just needs around a 60 to 70% charge to fire and will do the same amount of damage and everything, thus increasing your rate of fire. This here is how you can speed up your shots and net more kills than your teammates who will be using their own means or ways of priming weapons. Now, unlimited ammo and high range. Remember, this weapon won't overheat and has unlimited ammo for you to spend so you can keep shooting this forever and ever until you face a more bigger threat. This is kind of where the main weakness of the weapon will start to show as against titans and tanks, it will require a huge number of hits before you kill them. But, since this is unlimited, you don't have too much to worry about. This is why you should make sure you have a stratagem that can deal with them or even have teammates to deal with these bigger foes while you deal with the more smaller ones. You also need to be aware that the weapon has quite a high range to it with about 50 meters of arc energy being capable of sniping most enemies. This is great as you can take out a group of enemies at a safe distance and while this might backfire when being used against the robots, Against bugs, it makes your life a whole lot easier. Use an arc throw against armoured enemies is surprisingly worth investing in as it can bypass the armour, weaken or even shatter the armour over time. Since it ignores the armour and goes straight to the weak point damage, you want to aim straight for the head of most enemies or for the legs. Although it usually will auto aim for the head when you try and hit the legs from anywhere but the side, it will most likely prioritise the head and will destroy that first before attacking anything else. Your shots will also strip off the armour but it seems inconsistent at time. Against a charger, it will most likely strip off the side armour after landing a few heavy hits. Well, if aiming anywhere else, it will most likely weaken the armour instead. This rule same applies for Battle Titans but for robots it feels a lot more different since their exposed areas tend to be the glowing panels if you have or their head. Higher ground is recommended. One big thing to take away when using a weapon against all sorts of enemies is that it works best when on higher ground as it has less intrusion from other things getting involved. An example of this can be a dead body in front of you. Depending on where you shoot, your arc charge may land on the body and then chain to others, land on the body and do nothing, or land on the body and change your allies. This can place the weapon in a few difficult spots if you're not aware of your surrounding as it may lead to your death if there are too many bodies laying around and your shots seem to be missing over the given point. The Team Killer This gun, if used incorrectly, can quickly become the Team Killer. If there is a teammate name plate in front of you, it will arc to them and will one-shot them with ease. This is why the arc throw is extremely dangerous to use in extermination missions as those maps are very small to start with, has little area to navigate and one arc foe used against an enemy has a 50-50 chance of killing your team. So make sure you use it when your team is behind you or if you're in front of them. Also, as a heads up, it won't one-shot a teammate that has a shield pack on. It will destroy it but won't kill them unless you fire again at them. This is a lifesaver if you do generally mess up. Sometimes the weapon may not arc and you'll notice this every now and then Pay no mind to this and just keep shooting. You'll get plenty of arcs that wipe out entire powers of enemies. I'm not sure if this is a bug or if there's a slight delay between shooting your shots, but honestly, it's nothing bad to really worry about. Know where you're aiming. Aim. The initial arc still goes where you're aiming, which may sound weird, but actually it makes it easier for you to net those kills. Remember, this weapon will arc to where it's being pointed to, so it's not guaranteed it will land a headshot all the time. Make sure your aim is leveled at the head and it will get the headshot slash weak points and prioritize aiming at the face first and foremost before then focusing on other areas. Four is generally better than one. 
lastly, having four players with arc throwers is actually quite powerful and OP when it comes down to killing pretty much everything planet side wise. Remember, the arc thrower does direct damage more compared to just stripping armor, so using four of them against a single charger on Hell Diver mode actually will kill it faster than one Railgun user. And against a Bio Titan, it requires roughly 20 shots to kill one. Four teammates using it will, well, destroy it before it gets the chance to do anything else from there. So there we have it. Those are eight tips when it comes down to using and understanding the arc forum in most of the game. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.